Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's look at some of the questions based on long division method. Question number one, find the square root of 7.29. So first thing that we do is placing the bars. So for a decimal number, the whole number part, we start placing the bar from here. For the decimal part, we start placing the bar from here. And now let's look for a perfect square which is less than or equal to 7. So this would be 2. So 2 squared is 4. So 2 into 2 is 4. Let's find the remainder. It is 3. Then we have a decimal point. So we put a decimal point in the quotient. So we bring down the next set of numbers under the bar. It is 329. What about the division? Earlier it was 2. Make it twice. It becomes 4. A blank after it. So what is that number which should be placed here? So I'll give you a small tip instead of trying all the numbers here. So you have 9 at the end. So you need such a digit which when multiplied to itself gives you something which has 9 at end. For example, 3, 3 is a 9. So 3 could be one option. 7, 7 is a 49. So 7 could be one option. So now you can just try 3 and 7 in the gaps. So if you put 3, then it becomes 129. If you put 7, then it becomes 329. So this is the right option for us. So we'll put it 7 here. So this becomes 329. So therefore, the square root of 7.29 is equal to 2.7. Question number 2. Find the least number which must be subtracted from 1989 so as to get a perfect square. So let us first see if 1989 is a perfect square. So with the division method also you can decide whether a number is a perfect square or not. So like you see for perfect squares the final remainder will be 0. But if the final remainder is not 0 that means the number is not a perfect square. So let's try it out for 1989. So we'll do the same thing. Put them under the bars in the pair of digits. Now focus on 19. So what is that number whose perfect square would be less than or equal to 19? 4 square. So 4 here, 4 4 is a 16. So 4 here. So the remainder would be 3. Let's bring down the next set of digits under bars. It is 389. And here the divisor would be 4 into 2 that is 8 and a blank here. So what is that number which should be here such that you get something less than or equal to 389. What could be that number? So let's try that out. So if you think it could be 3. So 3, 3 is a 9, 8 is a 24. So 249 is less than 389. Let's try with 4. So this is 16 and this is 336 which is also less than 389. Let's try with 5. So this is 425 which is greater than 389 so you see here we didn't come across something which is exactly equal to 389 so we will consider the value which is less than 389 so let's put here 4 here also 4 so this would be 336 so what is the remainder so the remainder is 53 so this time we did not get the final remainder as 0 which shows that this number is not a perfect square but the question says what is that number which must be subtracted from this number so that it becomes a perfect square so looking at this you see that this remainder is the extra thing which is not letting this number to be a perfect square so if we subtract this number from 1989 then this can become a perfect square so 53 must be subtracted from this number so what is that number which we get when we subtract 53 let's see 1989 minus 53 gives you 1936 now let's find the square root of 1936 now obviously square root of 1936 would be 44 because we will follow the same procedure just that at the end we will get the remainder as 0 so if you want we can do it once again just to show you something like this so again here 4 4 is a 16 so remainder is 3 but this time you see the next set of digit is 36 so you have 336 here so here the divisor would still be 8 the blank would be filled by 4 so 84 into 4 is 336 so your final remainder is 0 therefore square root of 1936 is equal to 44. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.